Hello, Axel Wilkinson from HitFilm.com here to show you a few things about the HitFilm interface. In designing HitFilm, ease of use was one of our top priorities. So the default layout is set up in a way that should prove logical and efficient for most users. But we also appreciate that not everyone has the same workflow, requirements, or preferences. So to this end, we have also included tools that enable you to customize the interface to suit your preferences. So, in the Edit and Effects screen, you are likely familiar with the containers which hold the various panels and elements of the interface. The dark gray dividers between these are actually handles, which can be used to resize the containers and their contents. So, if you are working in the Controls panel and need more room to read the names of various controls or their values, you can drag the container wider to make more room for the Controls panel. Or if you have lots of layers on your timeline and wish to make more room to see them, you can increase the height of the timeline. In the Timeline and Controls panels, there are internal dividers, which can be used to adjust the relative size of the title areas. So if you've dug down into the Controls panel and can't read the names of the various controls, you can adjust the break line, marked by this small vertical line at the top of the panel, to make more room on the text side. There's a similar break line in the Layers timeline between the names of the controls and their values. Or if you want to adjust the size of the title area at left of the Layers timeline, you can adjust the divider to do so. In some containers, you can also drag individual tabs from one container to another. This does not work with the Viewer or Timeline containers, but say you wanted to combine the Media, Controls, History, Effects, and Text panels into a single container with five tabs. Not a problem. Just drag a tab into the header of your target container and drop it in. You can also rearrange the layout of the actual containers by dragging their headers. Perhaps you want the timeline to cover the entire width of the screen to make more room for editing. Grab the header, drag down to where the green drop zone appears, and drop and the timeline will be positioned accordingly. Or perhaps you want to move the controls panel to the right side of the interface. Grab the tab and drag it to the drop zone and drop it in the green area. These drop zones are available on any of the four edges of the interface. You can also drag a container onto the center of another container and the four-way placement indicator will appear. Drag to one of the four directions indicated and a green drop zone will appear. Entire containers or individual panels can also be floated or broken out of the main interface into a new window. This can be very useful for systems with multiple monitors as you can easily move the viewer to a second monitor and set it up full screen. To float a container, right click in the blank area of the header and select Float Container. To float a panel, right click on its tab instead. You can also drag tabs between floated and docked containers. To redock a floated container, you can click the double arrows at top right or simply drag it back into the main interface to any drop zone. Using the Panels menu, some panels can be hidden entirely, then revealed again when needed. This menu also holds an option to reset the entire interface to its defaults. When in a composite shot, there are also a few options for customizing the layout within the Viewer panel. You can change the number of views that are displayed up to four. You can change the relative size of each of these by dragging the divider bars. And you can use the menus at the top left of each to choose which view it displays. These specifics of the Viewer panel are covered in greater detail in the video on Navigating in 3D Space. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial on customizing the HitFilm interface. We're adding more tutorials to our YouTube channel all the time, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything.